welcome back to Google Drawing. Today we're going to learn how to make a rainbow and a pot of gold. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get to your drive. Now if you can't remember how to do that, make sure you're logged into your Gmail account. You're going to click on the waffle, then you're going to click on the button that says drive. Once in your drive, you're going to go ahead and click the button that says new and you're going to slide all the way down to the button that says more, slide across, and you're going to click on the button that says Google Drawings. Now we're going to start off by making um, the rainbow and we're going to be using the line tool. Hopefully you've had a little chance to explore the line tool. Um, you can watch some of the earlier videos. Um, if you have never used it before, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, so here is the line tool right here. Now the really important thing um, about the line tool, in case you've never used it, is when you click on it and you start using the line tool, you need to make sure that you go back and you click this arrow to get off the line tool. So you want it, you're either clicked here or you're clicked here. And if you're like not able to do the stuff you normally want to do, it's probably because you're clicked on the line tool here and you need to click back. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, so I'm going to click on the line tool, but I'm actually going to use this little um, arrow right next to it so I have some choices. So here's all the choices for the line tool. Um, we're going to be using this curved line tool today to make our rainbow. So you're going to think just about making the shape of a rainbow when you do this. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to be clicking lots and lots of times as you go around. So I'm going to start by clicking here and you see how it's attached. So I am not holding anything down, I just clicked once and now I'm stuck like a spider web. So what I wanna do is I wanna think about where do I want the next point to be? I want it to keep going up, so then I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go more, and now you can see I'm starting to make the arch. And each time I go, I'm going click, 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 click. So you have to click lots of times as you go around. Now, I feel like I've made it about to the same point there. So now I'm gonna come around and now I'm gonna go back and I'm clicking lots of times. Click, click, click. So when it gets to here, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. There, you see how it connected and I can click. And once my shape has been connected, it will turn into um, a shape that's filled with color. Now, you see that I still have the line tool on here, so if I start clicking and trying to do things, I'm gonna get stuck. So this is where I need to go up here and I need to go back to this tool, and now I can move things and work the way I normally do. So, first thing I wanna do is change the color. So right now, let's see, what would be the first color? Red. So I'm gonna come up here to the um, fill bucket and I'm gonna change it to red. Now. All I'm going to do is be, I'm going to copy and paste this. I, you could get the line tool and make each part of your rainbow if you want to, but I'm just going to copy and paste this and resize it. So I'm going to come up here and go edit, copy, edit, paste. So now I have another red one, but it's a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, I'm going to shrink it by grabbing this. I'm, I like to use the left top corner first, and then I come over to the right middle corner right here, or not corner, but the right middle, and then I slide it in a little bit until I like where it lands. So that looks pretty good to me. I also noticed down here, I might wanna make it come up just a little bit. Okay, that looks better. And then I'm gonna do the next color. So red, orange, there we go. Then I'm going to, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna paste it again. So I'm just gonna go edit, paste, because I've already copied it once. I'm gonna start at the same point. So I'm gonna start at the left top corner I'm going to bring it down just a little bit so I can see a little bit of the orange peeking out. Then I'm going to come over to this middle on the right, and I'm going to slide it in. Mm, still got to go more. Still got to go more. A little bit more. That looks great. And then I can look at this point right here, and I might want to do the same thing. And then I'm going to come to the bottom, my last stop, and slide it up. I think that looks good. So red, orange, yellow. Okay, and I'm gonna do it again. I'm just gonna go edit, paste. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna slide it down. I can see that yellow. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna slide it in. You can see even that pattern in the back. You can see where um, 
so you can see like an outline of my shape so you kind of know where it's going to land. Uh, it still needs to go a tiny bit more and then I'm going to come to the bottom. I'm going to slide it up. Now if you it decide to start at different points around the side when you're resizing it, it might uh, be a little bit different for you. Um, but if you go left, middle, bottom, it'll be just the same as I'm doing it. So I would stick with that same pattern um, unless you feel comfortable going out on your own. So red, orange, yellow, green. Okay, again, edit, paste. Oh, I went really far on that one. Got a little excited. Okay, here we go. Coming back a little bit more. I'm going to come to the bottom. Okay, I think I need to I think I need to go in just a tiny bit more. I need to bring it down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so after green, we're going to do blue. I have lots of choices. I think I'm going to do this blue right here. And I've got one more. All right, edit, paste. I'm going to slide it in top left, right middle, and then bottom. And then I'm going to have to maybe move this up a little bit. Oops. Let's make sure I'm clicked on the right thing. There we go. Do you guys see how I was like clicked? I was clicked over here which means I can't move that. So I clicked off the page somewhere, so I'm not on any of these shapes. Then I can go back to the red one and it clicks on it, and then you can see I'm actually clicked on it. Okay, so I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, and then I'm gonna need to move it in. And it looks like I made it, looks like I might have made it a little bit too small, so I'm gonna drag it back down so it reaches. And I'm gonna drag it just up just a little bit so it covers up that space, and then look, at I have an empty space right here. I'm gonna drag it back like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna change it to purple. Okay, and now I have my rainbow. Now, another cool thing that I figured out, I was like, oh, well, I made my rainbow, but ah, it's not filling up all the space like I li would like it to. So we're going to use that same trick we learned last time when we made the shamrock, um, where we can move all of the shapes at the same time. Check out what else you can do. So I'm going to click on the red one. Actually, let's start with purple. I'm going to click on purple, and I'm going to hold down the shift button on my keyboard. So my finger's on the shift button, I'm holding it. Then I'm going to click blue, and then green, and then yellow, and then orange, and then red. And the whole time my finger's on the shift button. Now I can let go of the shift button, and all of this is going to be working together now. So I can come up here and grab this corner, and I can stretch it all the way up and check out my rainbow. Oh my goodness, it just stretched out. I can take this bottom corner and I can stretch it out. I just wanna make sure that I keep it on the page. You guys see the page right here. If it goes off when I print it, it's not gonna um, be printed. So I'm going to make sure it stays on. Now I'm going to bring this up to the top a little bit. You can see that red line in the middle is lining it up for me. And I brought it up because um, I want to actually add a pot of gold um, and a little cloud right here. So let's add the cloud first because that's super easy. So we're going to come up here to the button that says shapes. I'm going to slide down and I'm going to slide across. And I'm going to come down right here where there's a little cloud right there. Click, and I'm just going to click on my page. There's my cloud. And I can bring it down here, and then I'm going to stretch out this cloud until it covers up the bottom. Whoops. Oh, do you guys see what happened? It, I just clicked on the rainbow. Now the rainbow is outlined, so I can't do anything to the cloud. So I need to click somewhere else. I can click over here. I can click anywhere that's just not on one of the objects. So I'm going to click on the cloud again. That's better. Okay, and now I can stretch out my cloud. And then I can move my cloud just so it's covering. Perfect. And then if I like that color, I can leave it. If I would rather have a different color, blue, I can get like a teal, a light blue, whatever color, um, whatever color I'd like to have. I'm going to use this one. And then we're going to put a little pot of gold here because everybody knows that that's where you find a pot of gold is at the end of a rainbow. So let's make our pot of gold. So we're going to go back to shapes and you're going to slide down and you can really use any shape you think would look good for a pot. I decided that I would like this shape right here. Give you a chance to check it out and I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to click on my page and drop it. Now this doesn't look much like a pot of gold right now. Um, but one thing I noticed is it's facing the wrong direction to be a pot of gold. So I'm going to get this little circle at the top. I'm going to wait till my arrow changes there it changed to that little plus sign now I can turn 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 look at my numbers are changing and right there at 90 I can stop and it is perfectly facing the way I want to now that's way small I want I don't want to find a pot of gold that tiny I want to find a big one 
So I'm going to um, grab this corner here and I'm going to stretch it out. I'm gonna make a big pot of gold. Now I'm gonna move this pot right here at the bottom of my rainbow and that way I can decide how big I want it to be. I want it to cover all this up. So I'm gonna keep stretching it out, but make sure it stays on the page. Look at that's off the page. So I'm gonna make sure it stays on the page. There we go. And then um, I'm gonna make the pot black. So if I'm clicked off of it, I've got no traces. But if I'm clicked on it, then I can come up here, there's a paint bucket and I can make it black. Now, that looks a lot better and I maybe even wanna stretch it out. I don't like how it's a little bit off center. Like there's space here, but there's not on this side. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna get the middle instead of the corner and I'm gonna stretch it just a little bit that way. And then I like how there's space here and then there's some space here. Okay, and now I wanna see some gold popping out of the top. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna get some circles. Let's see, shapes, here's a little circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this circle right here. And I'm actually gonna let them overlap onto the black and I'll show you why in just a minute. Now, I don't want them to be blue. I want them to be yellow so they look like gold. And then I can keep coming up here and getting one circle at a time or I can just go edit, copy, edit, paste. Now on my keyboard, I can also use a shortcut. Um, which for me is Command C to copy it and Command V to paste it. So those are on my keyboard. If I look at my keyboard near the space bar, I have a Command button right next to it. So if I hold that down and then I click on the C button, it copies it. And then if I hold the Command button, I do V, it pastes it and then I can move it. So watch how I can paste a bunch at the same time. I'm holding down the Command button. I'm going V, 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 V. So I'm going Command V. Command V, and then I have all these coins that I can now just come up here and line up. So if you can figure out what the shortcut is, I know some computers might be a little bit different. See if you can figure out what the shortcut is for your computer, and um, and then it makes it a lot faster instead of having to go up there and do edit, copy, edit, paste each time. So look, I can just I'm hitting Command V, and I'm now they're all coming up. So I'm just going to build a bunch of circles up here to look like little coins. I might do, I wanna kinda of make it look like it's building up in the center. Okay, and then I think I need one more. Actually, I need one more. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so that looks good to me. And then the other thing I can do is it looks like the coins are on the outside of the um, pot. So what I wanna do is I wanna click back on the pot and then I'm gonna come up here to the word arrange and I'm gonna go um, order and I'm gonna bring it to the front. And now you can see that the coins look like they're more inside now. And you can fill this up as much as you want, however much gold you want. Um, I also want to write on here, I want to write pot of gold just because I like to add some labels. So I'm going to come up here to the T that says text box. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to put it right onto the pot. Now, oh, it's really long. So I'm going to come to this middle right here and I'm going to pull it back. And then I'm going to double click so I can type in. I can't see anything. And the reason I can't see anything is because my pot is black and my text is black. So if you come up here, so yes, there's a paint bucket and there's pencils and stuff over here, but this stuff in the middle is really about your text and that's about your words. So look, if you hover over this letter A, it says text color when you hover over it. So if I click on that, then I can change the color so I can see it. So I'm gonna make it yellow. Oh, look at now you can see that blinking line. It is yellow and I'm gonna write pot of gold just in case anybody didn't know um, what it was now I realized I forgot to put it in the center so I'm going to click and I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna come up here where it says align and I'm going to put that in the center and I like that a lot better um, so that's it if you want to add in um, if you made some shamrocks on the last lesson and you want to put some in here you can or if you want to come up here and grab another text box and maybe you want to uh, write Happy St. Patrick's Day, uh, maybe really big. Let's write it really big. You could write Happy like that, and then you can print it out, hang it up in your window, um, or save it for your, uh, you know, your scrapbook for the end of the year. Um, whatever you would like to do, um, you can do it. Looking forward to seeing your creation. Uh, don't forget to give it a title up here. You maybe want to put like St. Patrick's Day picture or pot of gold or rainbow. Uh, good luck, everybody.